President Bola Tinibu has reiterated the commitment of his administration to reforming the country's macroeconomic environment with a focus on restoring confidence in the economy. Tinibu, represented by Vice President Kashim Shetima at the 17th Annual Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria Banking and Finance Conference in Abuja. Tinibu said his administration was committed to strengthening infrastructure development in the ongoing bid to grow Nigeria's economy. This theme will enable us to evaluate where we stand as a nation, understand the root causes of our economic challenges, and explore actionable strategies to accelerate growth and development sustainably and inclusively. Poor painful in the short term, the removal of oil subsidies is designed to free up budgetary resources for critical investments in infrastructure and social services. And frequent adjustment of the monetary policy rate, a move aimed at curbing inflation and fostering a more market-oriented exchange rate system. We are committed to upgrading Nigeria's infrastructure to support economic growth. We are investing in roads, railways, and energy projects through public-private partnerships to reduce transportation costs and improve market access. We are expanding broadband penetration and encouraging the growth of tech startups through initiatives such as the Digital Nigeria Program. For example, we are currently training 3 million Nigerian youth in digital technology and essential skills and then deploy them to innovation hubs. These efforts are designed to create jobs increase productivity and make financial services more accessible to Nigerians in all corners of the country. It is essential to state that we are committed to achieving a 70% digital literacy level by 2027. Through innovative approaches in delivering initiatives, continuous collaborations and stakeholder engagement. Earlier, President and Chairman of CIBN, Professor Pio D.G. Olariwaju called for urgent introspection on Nigeria's economic challenges, stressing the need for innovative solutions. Nigeria's economic potentials you know, are vast, but realizing them requires effective policies, investment, and good governance. The banking industry is not only a participant, but also a driver of a nation's economic growth and development. Let us embrace this opportunity with vision and determination by working together, private sector, government, civil society, individuals to build a prosperous and resilient economy that all of us will be proud of. The Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ola Ulukoyedi, said the commission will sanitize the financial system and instill laws that fight financial crimes. On our part, EFCC, we are committed to working with the Institute in sanitizing the financial services sector through robust enforcement of the anti-money laws and insulating it from attacks by cyber criminals, both from within and from without. The Central Bank of Nigeria has, over the last one year, rolled out a number of monetary policies designed to address some of these concerns. But the effectiveness of these policies depend largely on the professionalism and patriotism of the operators in the financial services sector. Economic recovery policies, however, were thought out, will not achieve the desired outcome without a buy-in by operators of the financial services sector, where such operators prioritize profit over national growth and well-being. Progress will remain elusive. Similarly, Chairman of UBA Group and Airs Holdings, Tony Ilumelu, said Nigeria's power sector is a critical factor for industrial and economic advancement. At this time of uncertainty, therefore, we all, all of us, citizens, government, not just all citizens finger pointing, must transform this crisis into an opportunity, into a blueprint for creating a thriving people and investor-friendly environment so that we can eradicate poverty and make progress.